Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we're doing another Kaladesh Draft League. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe and like the video, and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Inez27. Um, I talked to Travis, Travis a little bit yesterday, and he told me, I think Return to Ravnica is coming online, so once that hits online, I think I'm going to be doing that for a while. Um... Just, it's been a long time since I've done Return to Ravnica, so I think it was, uh, I remember it being a pretty fun format, and since it's been four years since I recorded draft videos on that, it'd be interesting to see if it's like riding a bike and see how much I can remember. All right, here we're just taking the Skyship Stalker, because it's very good. It's a very strong card. Okay. So, the follow-up pick here. Um, this pack's kind of... Missing awesome stuff, so I might just take the Weldfast Monitor and be okay with that. It's in line with our Skyship Stalker pick, which we definitely want to play. This card's very good. Um, and otherwise, it's like Prophetic Prism, but I'm not really into... My decks in this format have, are not really Splash decks. I don't really like that. I, I if Basically, if you're just tuning in to what I'm, I'm doing, I like to have a low-curve deck with high-power, cheap creatures at common and uncommon, and preferably red, green, or black. Not really white, and especially not blue. But, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at now, now nowadays in this format. All right, Pima Outrider's good. I can take it. Uh, it's a little more exciting than Lawless Broker. So, all right, I guess I can take the Outrider. Hmm. I can take the Steed. It's okay. I can take the Wildest Dream, but it's actually a good card. It's just not really what I like to do. I don't like getting all these four drops, but once again, this pack is kind of missing great stuff here. I'd say if if people who like to build the long game decks, Wildest Dream might be your pick, but that is not my style here. Okay. So we can take the Infiltrator, there's a Lookout, um, an Artisan, an Edgecrafter. Edgecrafter's pretty good, it's a little expensive. I'd probably just take the Infiltrator, be okay with that. It's, to me, it's a little bit less exciting than Lookout, but Infiltrator beats down pretty hard if you have any sort of combat trick or removal to back it up. Um, Alright, so we'll take Infiltrator here. Okay, Grub. Yeah, I like Grub a lot. These are the cards I'm talking about. The two drop, three power creatures. These are really what you want. Or what I want, I should say. Um, it's a late Visionary Augmenter. Uh, I, like I said, though, I really... I've been a little bit less impressed with uh, White in this format. I mean, there's nothing else in this pack, so I suppose I can take it. But, uh, yeah... White doesn't quite have the creatures I want. Like, Augmenter's a great one. Herald of the Fair is certainly one of the, the better ones. But it's kind of missing the two-drop beatdown cards that I like in white. Uh, which, in my opinion, really kind of hinders the color. You, you've got the uncommon one, right? You've got the, the Scry 2, which is a fantastic one. Um, it is surprising to see the Augmenter this late. Um... Artisan's not really what I want. Suppose I could take the mechanic. Yeah, I guess so. Really prefer to not be in white here. Hmm. Ibex is pretty unexciting, but so is everything else in this pack. Alright. I don't really want captured by the consulate. Don't really want the charge. I guess I'll take the puzzle knot. This card feels like it's gotten more playable. Um, uh, patrol. Kind of whatever. I'll take another puzzle knot. These can be good out of sideboard. All right, I'll take a demolish. Not the most exciting pack one, admittedly. So I definitely want to be in red because I like the three red cards I have, but, um. Yeah, we're going to, I guess, four red cards if you count Monitor. 
but we're going to need a little more exciting action here. And like I said, I'd much rather be in green or black than white, if possible. And blue can, everybody else at the table can have blue. That is all good. Uh, wow, Nissa, this is the first one I've opened. Cool. Well, great. I wanted to be in green anyway. Now I've got all the excuses in the world. So let's see. Let's see if Nissa's worth anything. Because, like I said, I've not opened this planes. I've opened a million Chandras, but oh, only two tickets? That's okay. She seems really good. Five mana, get a 5-5 five, five hasty land every turn. Or... Um, oh, it can block for her, too. Her emblem's pretty good, and you get it pretty quickly. Okay, yeah, I mean, she's good. She is good. Um, and like I said, I didn't really want to be in white anyway. Been less impressed. Um, uh, yeah, Nissa, what is up? Okay, there's our brawler. Best reason to be in red green in my opinion just probably the most premium non-rare two drop creature in the format was that too specific <laughs> uh okay reprisals good removal i might want the seed sculptor although we're kind of rocking zero removal spells at the moment is that right Jeez. might need the reprisal but seed sculptor is pretty premium in green can never really have too many of these dudes. Really help you beat down. Reprisal kills things and can kill people, though, which is really good. And like I said, zero removal spells currently. That's tough. It is four mana, though. I'm not sure how much that matters. Yeah, I don't really count the puzzle knots as removal, considering I probably don't want to main deck them anyway um so i can take the seed sculptor i can take the reprisal what's going to be better for me this is kind of tough i think i'm actually going to go seed sculptor i'm going to hope that i'm going to find some other tricks or removal along the way so we can take filigree familiar here um uh, fire weaver does interact with just a few cards in our deck currently um i'll probably take the familiar there's also a tune with Aether. Uh, but I'll take Familiar. Familiar's good. It's not exactly what I want to do in the format, but it, it's a good package of, of effects where it, it all adds up to be pretty good. All right, so I could take the Assembler, but I think I'd rather have another Monitor. I think the Assembler plan is fine, by the way, but um, it's just... Like I keep saying, I've got my own preferences now in this format. I don't fault anybody for having their own preferences. If they think, you know, I'm taking something strictly worse than something else, you are you have full rights to have that opinion. I won't hold it against you. I just do not agree with that assessment. Um, all right, monitor here. So we can take the Fanatic. There's a Courage. We don't have any vehicles yet. This deck really wants a couple vehicles to abuse with Fanatic and Infiltrator. And by a couple vehicles, I mean a Sky Skiff or a Renegade Freighter. So Ornamental Courage might be what we want. Fanatic really is only good if we get vehicles. Otherwise, two mana, two power haste is only whatever. So I'll probably take the Courage. It's a nice, cheap trick. Like the 80s band. All right, Scourge is good. So I'm fine taking that here. Get the hastiness. Um, hmm. I don't really want any of this. I don't really need a wild wanderer. So I guess I can take cathartic reunion, but I'm not really needing that either. Um, we can take a larger than life. I mean, if we get beat down heavy enough, this card might do something. But I think for the most part, I'm. I was unimpressed with it early on. Like, I like Built to Smash just a lot more. I'd ra much rather run a Built to Smash, even if you don't have a lot of artifacts. 
um, in a beatdown deck, I, I kind of like it. And the instant speed, I think, makes it better than large in life, although large in life is guaranteed trample, so I'm not sure. All right, we'll just take the... All right, so we can make this deck work. We basically just need... I wouldn't mind another Voltaic Brawler, not going to lie. Uh, some more Thriving Grubs would be great. Any Thriving Rhino, Long Tusk Cub. There's a lot of cards. A lot of cheap cards that would make this deck better. We got the Seed Sculptor too. Ooh, well, Hydra's good. Um, so we'll take that. It's a worthy 4-drop. Um, it'd be nice to wheel Cobra or... Well, I don't think Inspector's going to wheel, but Cobra could definitely wheel. We'll see. I don't know how deep this pack is, though. But Hydra's good. Take the Hydra. Four mana, four three. That is can be a five four uh, hexproof at will, no cost. Pretty good. Uh, okay, so there's Appetite. I probably want the Blossoming Defense. This is a pretty excellent trick in our deck. If it's going to be Removal Light, which it definitely is at the moment, um, I'm thinking it's it's much more in our interest to get as many combat tricks as possible to supplement. All right. Okay, Renegade can kill things, but I think we want the Rhino over the Pyro Helix, too. Rhino is one of the green premium creatures, and we need just three more, so Rhino is very good. Let's take it. Okay, there's a Courier, which I do like. Otherwise, I could take another Monitor. I mean, what I like about Courier is... We have the Combat Tricks to support it, too. It's just cool that it can eventually rebuild your hand. But do I want an Appetite more or a Monitor more? We already have a couple Monitors. They're always pretty good. I'll probably take the Rare here. I, f this card always seems to overperform, so I'm going to take it. Um, I don't really need any of these. I guess I'll take a takedown. Okay, Genius is pretty good. Makes me sad to see these late lookouts. I want to do my, the normal, the Alex Stevenson special. Um, alright, we can take another Built to Smash. I'm actually okay with that. Prefer to not play these larger than life, so we'll see if it happens, though. I'm about to, I mean, we're just about done with the deck here, I suppose. Are we really going to run two larger than life? Jeez, I don't think the card's that good, but we'll see. I mean, it's kind of cool with a courier, I guess. God, all the late lookouts. I should just always play black red. <laughs> I was saying that on stream, too. Why do I ever stray from black red? It's just because it's boring. That's it. It's the only reason. I'll take the Spark of Creativity. I don't think we need the Mastodon. I don't think we need the Spark either, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Spark's probably not that good. All right, we'll take a Mastodon. Uh, Gremlin. Suppose... Spectacle. All right. Sabotage. Stark Dringens. Spectacle. All right. Well, this deck uh, is lacking a little bit because we've got a Cathartic Reunion and two Larger Than Lifes that we're going to have to play. We have zero removal spells, but we have two built to smash, an ornamental courage, and a defense. So these are cheap combat tricks that should supplement just fine for letting us continue to attack. And uh, I guess we'll try out Larger Than Life. I guess we'll try out Cathartic Reunion. Otherwise, I can main deck a... Uh, I probably don't want to run Spectacle. I can main deck a... Hmm, Puzzle Knot. Could do that. But those will be better to swap into, I think. Um, 
So overall, yeah, I think this deck's lacking a little bit for sure, considering that it's completely devoid of removal and we're running larger than life's. But we did get some premium things in here for sure. The Brawler, the Grubs, you know, the Nissa, the Stalker. So the Hydra. So we have some good rares. We have good combat tricks. But yeah, this deck is still still needs some help. Um But yeah, I guess we'll run it like this. We'll see. Curve is still pretty good. Uh so two double red, three double green. They want to do 8-8? Eight, eight? Okay. I probably agree with that. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. Is there anything kind of lacking in this deck? Not really. We've got some hastiness too. Steed, Stalker, Scourge, Nissa. So, actually a good amount of decent beats. No vehicles, no removal. Yeah. I think that's going to be that's going to be costly on us, but we'll see what we can do with this. Definitely running cards I don't ordinarily run, like Reunion and Larger Than Life. So let's let the experiment begin. We'll see you around one.